Well, hello. Hello, howdy. Welcome back to another simple, classic, good old Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 upload. Whenever I pick Rock Pea, something I always have to do is just completely black out this thing. I don't know what I would call it. The stat board, I guess. Why does my hair do that? Like, what? what is this? It, like, just waves itself. I brush my hair every single fucking day, and it's just, like, always terrible. Anyways, today we are taking a look at Rock P. We haven't done Rock P as a problem, and to be fair, I don't even think that it's gonna be titled Rock P as a problem because this character fucking sucks. Rock P is horrible. I've been on the Rock P hate train for a very long time. I don't think Rock P is good in any single way. I don't think that he's underrated. I don't think that he's anything. I just think Rock P is incredibly mediocre and probably the most useless variant in this entire game. But there's just nothing going for the character whatsoever. Also, can we please make sure to leave in the comments to remind me to mute my desktop audio so since we are playing on PC today. If I'm going to be playing Rock P at the bare minimum, I'm gonna have all the upgrades. If you don't know what Rock P's whole gimmick is, he has the most health out of every pea shooter in the entire game, but moves incredibly slow. He is just the tanky pea shooter variant, because most classes in this game have at least one tanky variant. Not only that, his primary also just is not very accurate at all. If I, like, move and shoot, his primary just kind of goes wherever the fuck it wants. Also, I'm, like, 90% sure there's a skid in this lobby. I just got, like, instantly healed for no reason. Why do I have Bling Gatling on? In what world do I have Bling Gatling on? 21 damage! What the fuck? Okay, something... Something's a little bit wrong. First thing that's wrong is Retro Gatling. We're gonna put on Normal P Gatling. Why was I hitting 21 damage there? Maybe Bling Gatling is the hidden meta that no one knows about. This character's so bad. There we go. I hit 38 damage. Okay, I'm doing a little bit more than I should. I have a small hunch that there might be a skid in this lobby. Speaking of, speaking of skids and anti-cheats and shit like that, EA just announced that the EA anti-cheat is going to be coming to Battle for Neighborville, which is quite silly considering that the game already has the easy anti-cheat. So it's going to have the easy anti-cheat and EA anti-cheat if I'm not mistaken. I didn't read the whole article because I'm not that interested to be honest. I'll have the article linked in the description if you want to go ahead and look at it. They just said that the EA anti-cheat is going to be coming to Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville because BFM also has its own stat corruption exploit. Now, the EA anti-cheat doesn't really patch the exploit, it just builds a brick wall around it. So for BFN, I don't know how effective it's actually gonna be. I also know banning people on BFN is, like, really weird. That's, like, the best way I can put it. It's not as easy as it is on this game. For example, someone tried to ban me on BFN, and it just didn't work. All my levels and shit are really messed up on BFN, but I'm still able to just play the game completely fine. Also, I don't know what this type of skid mod this guy has on. That's cringe. That's cringe. I don't know what kind of skid mods these are, but I just get healed instantly and I deal more damage than I should. I pinky promise I'm not cheating. What's crazy is I was hitting 38 damage with Rock P and this character still fucking sucks. So yeah, the EA anti-cheat is going to be coming to Plants vs. Zombies BFN. When it actually does end up coming, I will definitely make sure to make a video on it. I don't really know what's going to come of that considering that the game already has its own anti-cheat. Okay, now I'm starting to see a little bit more skid action coming out. I have this little red buff and that's when I know I do more damage. This character fucking sucks. Such an inaccurate primary, man. Please, I can't do anything more. Okay, I got one with my beam bomb. Roadie Z, yeah, that's that's raps. There's a little cult in Garden Warfare 2 of people that think Rock P is an underrated character. He sucks. He's my least favorite in this entire game, and I have very valid reason to believe so. His primary is incredibly unsatisfying because it's just not accurate, which on a character like a pea shooter, you're definitely gonna want an accurate projectile. I think his character design is stupid. Rock P, that's just kind of thumbs down for me. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Oh, you're standing still, and I get a fucking assist. I love this character, guys. There we go, we got a kill with our primary. He is all around just a ginormous downgrade from Barry P from Garden Warfare 1. Because if you don't know, that's what Rock P is supposed to be. I just realized what these cheats are. This is just Berserk and Healing Aura. I'm in normal turf takeover, but I have Berserk. I didn't even notice. Honestly, Berserk in normal matches, that's that's not too bad. At least it's playable. It's not like completely destroying the lobby. Yeah, Rock P is slow. Character design sucks. His primary sucks. Every other P shooter in this entire game is just miles better than Rock P. Rock P is most definitely not a problem in this game. Rock P has a problem of just being such a mediocre character. That's what his issue is. Popcap came together and are like, all right, they're just, they're around like the table at the EA head office. And they were just brainstorming. They were thinking that we have to make such a mediocre character for the next Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare title. And then some asshole at the EA head table said, let's make Rock P. And then a couple months later, 
we had this dog shit character get added to the game. They thought, how can we take Pea Shooter, an absolutely insanely overtuned class, and make a variant in that class that is such a bad character? And then Rock P was born. If you can't tell, I don't like this character. Why did half of those miss? I, my crosshair is on him. My crosshair will just be directly centered on the fucking enemy. And it just won't do anything. It won't hit them. How can you have fun with this character when you don't get rewarded for having good aim? Now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting old. I'm a whopping 18 years old. I'm an old head. So my spice at video games is starting to run dry. I'm getting a little washed. But I would say that I still have fairly decent aim. And I'm aiming at these people and it's not fucking doing anything. This is such a bad character, man. Thank God the game's over. I, mean, I still have to record for like another fucking... Uh, I still have to play minimum one entire turf game for this video. People have been requesting this character, though. I'm gonna give the people what they want. I can sit down, shut up, and just play a dog shit character for a little bit. But man, I just... I don't see a defense for this character at all. Rock P is so bad. To lighten up the mood, let's open a Minions Booster Pack. I'm feeling much better after that. The boxer bot is like my therapist. As much as I would love to be playing zombies right now, I gotta stick it out for a little while longer with this just mediocre piece of sh- To the surprise of absolutely no one, if I had to pick my least favorite character in this game without even a second guessing myself, it would be this stupid pea shooter. And I like playing Barry P. I play Barry P a lot in Garden Warfare 1. If I'm not playing Agent P, because you know, why would you not play top tiers? They're fun, they're awesome. If I'm not playing Agent P in Garden Warfare 1, you can bet your ass I'm playing Barry P. All your goop. I'm just only gonna go for splash damage. There we go. Ow. That's a cool little piece of tech right there that was actually useful. If you shoot, bean bomb shoot, it pretty much doubles your fire rate. Very, very situational. Versus all stars, it's quite good because they have a lot of health and they're also very big, so you have a chance of just getting damage with a bean bomb as well as your primary. Okay, this game we're not performing as bad. Oh my god, any bit of range whatsoever is this character's kryptonite. You're dead, Scuba. You're not dead. Did you ZPG me? Mid-air ZPG, I mean, I hold those. That was a very fast first objective capture. Don't mind me, just zooming on by. That was a failed bean jump. Try that one again, there we go. I used Hyper and both my bean bombs there to get slightly ahead of all my other teammates. Let me just snag this foot soldier kill. Thank you. Uh, range is this character's kryptonite. This character is the closest thing to a shotgun in this game. But he's not a shotgun. He shoots like pellets like a P does, like a P shooter. But he feels like a shotgun class because if you're not at close range, you're not going to be hitting your shots. Maybe it's a skill issue. Maybe I'm not able to just like memorize the RNG that is his primary. You're say, can you die? Okay, the other one. I still have 100 health. We're fine. And we lose. Please, man. Oh, my fucking God. He had 50% health left. He was beyond living. I can't with this character anymore, man. He's, he's, he's not fun. He's just not fun. You play video games to have fun, and then you pick Rock P, and you just are not having fun. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. All that good stuff. I know that I definitely didn't enjoy. Also, Rux reset, which is pretty hype. Go ahead and buy the one item that's in my Rux. I am going to check Rux on both Xbox and PlayStation. Because if he's selling the Dark Bean Bomb, I'm going to be getting on my grind. Also, we are getting very, very close to 25k subs. So if you did enjoy today's program, then feel free to subscribe. And yeah, until next time, sayonara. I fucking hate Rock P with